G'day, welcome to another curriculum burst. Here's a curious problem for the uh, lower high school grades. It goes as follows. For k greater than zero, let i k equal 1, 0, 0, 64, where there are k zeros between the 1 and the 6. Uh oh, okay, so i k looks weird as 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 64, where the k of zeros in between. Okay. Let nk be the number of factors of 2 in the prime factorization of n, ik. I don't know what that sounds That sounds terrible. Sounds scary. What is the maximum value of nk? Oh, hang on. This whole question makes me feel nervous and scared. Um, okay, so, so I get a... Get, uh, how do I make sense of this? I've got a whole bunch of numbers, apparently. So when... Uh, okay, let's go to extremes. Like if k is like the smallest it could be, like could be 0 maybe. Is k is bigger than 0? I'll, I'll say 0, I'm not sure. If there are no zeros between the 1 and the 6, I've got this number. If there's one zero, I've got this number. If there are two zeros, I've got this number. Okay, so if there's three zeros, there's a whole bunch of these things, and if it's like, you know, 10 zeros or something, I've got that number, and so on. That's what these numbers are. And what are we doing? Well, there's this thing about nk, I just don't get that. So I'm going to ignore that. The part that scares me, I'm going to ignore. That's a good strategy. The parts you don't like, just ignore, see how far you can get without doing it. So there's something about nk, but, but it's about the number of factors of two in the prime factorization of these things. So I'm going to split these guys into primes, into, fact, into prime factorizations, and then work out how many times the number 2 appears. Ugh. Well, there's no way I'm going to work out the prime factorizations of those guys. That seems like too much work. So what am I going to do here? Um, well, actually, the question doesn't want the whole prime factorization. It only cares about how many 2s are in it. For example, 164. Uh -huh. I know I can divide it by 2 at least one time and get, what, 84? And I can divide it by 2 another time and get, what, uh, 42? Then I can divide it by 2 yet another time and get uh, 21. So I can divide this by 2 uh, 8 times. Uh, sorry, what am I saying? Total of 8, eight factor of 8, but divide by 2 3 times. So the prime factorization of 164 has a 2 and a 2 and a 2 and then other primes. So actually, there are three 2s in that prime factorization. Ha! Huh. Okay. Well, what if I went to another extreme? Instead of going for like the really small case with no zeros, what if I went to like a case with lots of zeros? How many times could I divide that by two? Hmm. Well, I can divide it by two at least once for sure. But how? Oh, hang on. This is really a whole big power of ten plus sixty-four. Maybe it's easier to think of it that way. If I divide by two once, I get what five with a whole bunch of zeros plus thirty-two. And I can divide by 2 again. And I get, what, 50 divided by 2 is 25 with a whole bunch of zeros, plus, uh, what, 16. Or I can divide by 2 again. So that's, what, 250 divided by 2 is, what, 125, a whole bunch of zeros, and uh, an 8. Or I divide by 2 again, ugh, 6 and 50, 6, 2, 5 with a whole bunch of zeros. I'm losing track of the zeros, I don't care. I'll just assume there's a lot of them. I'm in the extreme case. Um, I can divide by 2 again. Uh-oh, 31 and another 25. Yep, yep, it's a bunch of zeros and a 2. I can divide by 2 again. Oh, now it's getting hard. 31 divided by 2, I don't know, there's some number, but I can see I can get a plus 1, and that's going to be an odd number, that's it. So I can divide by 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 times. All right, all right. So here I can divide by 2 3 times, here I can divide by 2 6 times, so the extremes I've got. And what's the question? Let nk be the number of factors of 2 in the prime factorization of ik. All right, something about counting these things. What's the maximum value of nk? All right. I want the maximum number I can get here. So when I've got enough zeros, I'm never going to get more than six. When I've got too few zeros, I've got just three. So it's the in-between stuff. Maybe there's a way for me to think about what sort of how many times I can keep dividing by two for the in-between numbers. And what's interesting here, hmm, when I had a lot of zeros, dividing that 10 by two used up one of the zeros. Dividing that 50 by two used up another one of the zeros. So that 25 by 2 seem to use up another one of those zeros, um, and so on. So I seem to have used up some zeros. So I wonder, when does this extreme case start to kick in? So I can actually think, maybe there's only like three or four cases I need to check in the middle to make sure I don't get beyond six. And maybe I do get beyond six. Hmm. However, that feels like something I can do. Check the middle ground. Maybe I can think about how small that middle ground is, how many zeros is in the middle, and then just do it. And I'll bet I'll get them an answer. What's the maximum value of number of twos in the prime factorization? It feels doable. I feel I can have some success with that. So I invite you to have some success too. Try it out. And when you're done, check the essay that goes with this video. Let's compare our results. And then I have some more questions about this one. Cool stuff. All right. Thanks very much. Thanks for watching. 
For more curriculum inspirations material, go to our website. Lots of great stuff there.